Hey guys, it's Jam and I'm back with another video and today's video is how can I improve my situationship slash relationship slash connection and basically what you need to do so that they can come forward and give you their cup of love. So remember, um, okay, no, I'll tell you in the next clip. But anyway, so for pile number one, we have this hairbrush. Number two, we have nail polish remover. Number three, we have this tin. And number four, we have this DIY cross. So pick which pile resonates and then let's get into the video. Hey guys, it's Gemma and I'm back with another video. Um, excuse my attire today. I just didn't feel like showing anyone anything. So yeah, um, before I start the video, I just wanted to let you guys know, um, you know, you must always pray and, you know, you must like trust in the Lord and you should read your Bible. And for everyone that is not religious, I understand, or spiritual, or anything, you know, I understand. I respect your opinion, but yeah, so I'm sending all of my love and let's just get into the video so for pile number one oh wait so today's video is how can you improve the situationship relationship connection yeah 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 so anyway let's just get into the video so for pile number one i feel like maybe you could brush your hair you could get a new haircut maybe it's gonna like catch the attention or maybe you have really nice hair and it's kind of like yeah so um your first song is by amina called caroline i heard you done got you a dime piece man yeah, she a bad thing. Fine as H-E-L-L-L. -L -L. I'm not going to say the word. Caroline, listen up. Don't want to hear about your horoscope or what the future holds. Shut up, shut up. And let's get gory. Don't want to talk it out. Can't wait. Cause we you must listen to that song. It's a great song. So what that tells me basically is you're already a catch fam. You're already doing the most. You already be fly AF. You Caroline. Mighty fine. Like that type of thing, you know. So this person don't want to talk it out. Can they? They don't want to talk it out. If you know what I mean, you know what I mean. Clarified by your next song being Good Form by Nicki Minaj. So remember guys, just be holy. But you know, I'm going to still read the cards. I'm not going to change what I'm doing with my channel. Like, but like, yeah. So it says, good form by Nicki Minaj. He see me looking pretty every time he scroll up. I tell him he eat the cookie because it's good for him. Eat the cookie because it's good for him and I give him good form apparently. And this person don't want to talk it out. So how can you improve it by not talking about it and just... Dot, dot, dot. That's all I'm going to say. So your next song is I Spy by Kyle. So your person, maybe you're pregnant or something like that. I don't know. Um, but like kids is also in the situation. Maybe kids is also playing a factor in whether you guys are supposed to be together or not. And it says, I've been getting high. I don't want to lie. I know when you text me, I don't always reply. You're not an angel either. You can't even fly. All the shade coming at me. I wonder who threw it. So maybe you're being a bit shady. Or maybe you're being a bit forceful when it comes on to the relationship. You're kind of being like, hey, I want you. Be with me now. Blah, 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 blah. But it's kind of just like, chill mellow out because this person already got you i feel like you're already in your prime time you're already in your prime time y'all are already exclusive right or you guys are already together or they want to be together with you if you haven't let them know that you want to be with them if you've been hiding your emotions and you know i feel like there's been a lot of problems in the relationship and you're just trying to overcome it and this person is honestly just trying to get to know you better before they can like open up or maybe they don't want to get to know you better because they just want to do that other thing that's on their mind. Because you know there's only one thing on their mind when it comes to people. I'm not going to say people, but like, you know, people. But yeah, so break down the walls. This person honestly just wants to get to know you better. Or maybe an emotional level or a physical level, okay? Um, I mean, not a physical, though. Like, physically, they are looking at you and they're just like, nah, me, nah, me. So yeah, and this is again coming to the end of a cycle. I feel like you guys have been arguing about something but not coming to a conclusion. And honestly, how you can improve it? Firstly, like I said, you know, I'm getting that haircut. But you're already cute. So just keep being cute, keep being your cute sis. Keep it cute sis. Keep it cute sis. Keep being you. And then again with the separation, maybe you need to make them miss you more. If you're coming off really strong, then it could be scaring the person away. So maybe just like take a bit of distance. Like take a step back and be like... Okay, like, I'm not going to talk. Maybe you should talk to me, rather. You should improve the situation. I shouldn't do anything because I'm already doing everything I can. I've already done my part. I've been putting in effort, and I'm done. 
Like, you should be done already. This person should be chasing you. Because this king can come forward, but it's kind of just like all the problems. So you have the king of spades. You should get the king of clubs, though. You need the king of clubs, not the king of spades. Because this is problems in a relationship, and we don't want problems. And we want to be stripped down raw. You want to know the person completely before you can let them see you as that vulnerable person that you really are, if you are vulnerable. And again, this is just good luck and um, positivity. Mm, what else does it say? club maybe this is a long distance relationship maybe they have to travel to see you and you should honestly just like pay the money to go travel to see them just see your person this person just want to see you but at the same time with the separation take a step back so if you have been seeing them every single day maybe just like try and be a bit more distant actually like because this person has their eye on you i'm getting with i spy you know like they do have their eye on you and they see you as this gorgeous fine piece but, like, if you're coming off really strong, then maybe you should take a step back and let them actually fix the relationship and the situationship instead of you. Because maybe you're the one that's stressing. So one of you guys is causing the problem. One of you guys is, like, speaking and being vocal about all your problems. The other person's kind of just like, hey, you. They're not even listening. Like, you could be saying a whole bunch of stuff and they're just looking at your lips. Like, point blank, period. Like, should we just be honest here? You know how to fix it. You know how to shut them up. I'm gonna be holy and say it with a kiss. Let's hope it stops there. If it goes further, that's your prerogative. I'm not judging you. But yeah. Don't forget to read your Bible. <laughs> um, so for pile number two, how can you improve your situationship, your relationship, your connection? I'm sorry, guys. I don't know why, but I'm in a good mood. I think it's because... So this person is... Oh my god, did I even show the cards for number one? I'm really sorry that I didn't, if I didn't. But anyway, so let's just get into the video. So how can you improve the situation, Jip? So your first song is Old Town Road. So if you want to listen to the um eh, the Bully Ray version or whichever, but yeah. that. So the meaning behind the song, I googled it. Um... So it basically means being out of options and knowing, cause like, so someone commented on my video, like shout out to you if you're watching it, two basically means partnership, but always involves someone else. It means being for someone and putting them first. Like Ted Mosby said it based on how I met your mother. Like he was describing love, like you know what real love is. Like, okay, I'm gonna make a whole nother video on like, you know. Anyway, so like just what love is and like, it's putting someone first and always like, Putting them first, even if it, like, destroys you. And, like, just loving them and wanting the best for them no matter what. You know? So this song is basically being out of options and making that person your one option. Like, your one priority. Nobody else but them. And then it says leaving everything behind and running away. And that's what the song meant. That's what he meant when he wrote the song. Your second song is Go and Get It by Ace Hood. Go and get it. Another day. Another dollar. So, also in brackets, it says seven days. Maybe you're going to see this person in seven days. So, seven could be significant. Maybe you should look up. Well, then let me do it for you. I'll do what I can. So, seven represents time. I feel like this could be a divinely timed connection. And um, your connection could have to do with the material world and the boundaries that you guys have. Um, your person could be born on the 7th, the 16th, or the 25th. And I feel like they have amazing dreams about you. Um... Honestly, they are worried about the future of your road and the of your road. I feel like they're worried about where you guys are going to go from now, from here. So this is how you should improve it, right? I feel like either you need to leave everything behind and go get the bag instead, choose the bag. I mean, for me, I'd choose the bag. Point blank, period. <laughs> but obviously, you want to fight for your person. I know you do. I know you want to fight for your person. So your person could be a water sign or an air sign. I'm also getting Sag and Leo energy. Sag and Leo. You have yes, which means, um, can you improve the situation? Yes, you can, fam. Yes, you can. Go and get it. Go and get it. Old time road. That's basically leaving everything and just going for it. Like you don't have the king of clubs, though. But it's fine, it's fine. I feel like this person is really worried about where you guys are going to go from here. 
um, they're worried about how you perceive them and um, I'm getting a lot of like self-image and like anxiety and just like I don't know maybe your heart beats faster and everything like for no reason when you're with them and it's kind of just like why is it happening though and then it says I have to walk away so with the old town road that's you know packing your bags and just leaving like this person wanted to leave maybe they wanted to leave the connection but it's like if you love someone you're gonna stay there doesn't matter what they do to you so how can you improve it so maybe this person left you and now you're trying to improve it you can improve it by firstly um being humble i feel like you need to humble yourself maybe there's too much ego in here too much pride and um you guys have a lot of imagination and feelings and there could be too much secrets so i feel like you need to do something unexpected and something out of the blue maybe you need to get the bag like i said and then take them out on a date i feel like you should ask this person out on a date just be like hey listen yeah i feel like me and you've been going through a lot fighting a lot and you know i am sorry with the i am sorry card i'm sorry that we've been fighting apologize you know people think that they can't apologize to people because they think oh i can't say that i was wrong you can it's okay to be wrong like you nobody's perfect you know so yeah i feel like you know also person out on a date just be like yo like can we just chill like even if it's on a date even if i have enough money to ask him out on a date just be like hey like can we just like chill like even if it's for five minutes you know like i want this stable relationship with you i want to be practical with you i want to be frank with you and um you need to come off in a way that's like nonchalant sorry i got a message <laughs> Um, what was I gonna say? Yeah, come off nonchalant, be chill, be Gucci, just, I'm gonna say, just be, take your, your horse to the old town road and ride till you can't no more, you know? So yeah, get the bag, make your money, get your coins, put yourself first, put yourself first, and then be like, hey, so I did my self-care, I did my self-love. Let's, let's, let's do it down. Let's kick it. That's what I'm getting. They just want you to be honest with them. And I don't want you to put up a front. Don't put up a front. Be real. So for number three, how can you improve the relationship, situationship, connection? Did I mention read your Bible every day? I hope I did. Oh, cool, 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 cool. I literally said read your Bible and I didn't even look at this, guys. So your song is Veggies by Amine. Pass me the lighter, old flame calling. So this could be your twin flame and maybe you're trying to rekindle something. Or it's like, mm, mm, I'm already getting a lot of energy from number three. I always get so much energy from number three. Y'all the MVPs. So, um, old flame calling. So she want to light. So she want to light the fire. Now I'm super tired. Forgot to read my Bible. It literally says, forgot to read my Bible. I wanted to try, but I wasn't sure. I turned the other cheek. Now she kissing my jaw. Did this person try and kiss you and then they turn their cheek and then you kiss their jaw? Did that actually happen or is that just a song? You tell me. Damn, number three. Damn. So I'm getting a lot of rejection. Let me see. <gasps> Ooh. 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 Number three, you guys are so good. Oh my god. Oh. I wish I could be your friend. I wish I could be your friend. So it says, okay, I'm sorry. This is serious. This is a serious video, guys. It feels like my heart might give in. One minute I'm fine, the next minute I'm tempted to call you up and see how you're doing. Again, old flame, twin flame, that type of thing. I'm getting a lot of fire. You could be an Aries. You could be a Sag. You could be. Any sign. I feel like it could be a water. I feel like this is a water sign with the air sign. I mean, a water sign with the fire sign. I mean, all with the air sign. But, like, I feel like there's a lot of, like, you know, like, an imbalance in the relationship. Maybe an unconventional relationship. But, like, this person's trying to see the truth in the connection. Because they don't like the lies. This person could be religious also. And they could be really optimistic. They'd be eating their veggies. How do you want to improve the relationship? Firstly, eat your veggies and read your Bible. 
Let's start off by there. You know, if you want to go to church, do that too. If you're not religious, I understand. But anyway, let's get into the cards. So I feel like this person could have rejected you or something like that. Or you felt rejected in the relationship. And now it's kind of like, so I'm left with this feeling of pain and this feeling of um, unwantedness. So now, yeah, that's what the regret card means, you know. I feel like you could be unfaithful in the relationship, maybe. If you are, then how can you improve it? I don't know, maybe don't be unfaithful, stop being unfaithful. But like, if that's not the situation, then it kind of just means putting in the effort, going the extra mile for someone because you want to, because you know that they're worthwhile. And um, again, it says, I need you. Oh, can you even see that? You can't, it's fine. So it says, I need you attractive and this is the nine of hearts that's like a hopeful card that's someone being optimistic no matter what this also could be um a com this is like has to do with spirituality and karma so your person could be born on the 9th the 18th or the 27th and um this is a divine love your person could appear vain they could appear vain <laughs> But they're generous and they're loving and your person could be pregnant your person is a loved and devoted partner and they would basically do anything for you so if you're not coming off like that that's how they see you and maybe you need to maintain this image maybe you start maybe like in the beginning of the relationship you were like hey baby like let's chill like you know i like you like let's hang out and then as time went by then you stop putting in that effort and now it's kind of like catfish like, I literally was thinking about Catfish, maybe the TV show. So, you need to wait for this person and you need to be patient with this person. Because I feel like you guys could be, like, together. And, like, you guys already had your flame. You had your time. So, you need to just be patient. Because everything... Because, you know, like, guys, you know, God has a higher purpose for you. And everything, like, everything's already planned out, you know? Be hopeful about this because I feel like you might be losing all hope and faith, but it's like you shouldn't be because here's the nine of hearts. That's the hopeful card. You need to have hope. You need to have faith. If you want to approach a situation, approach it um, like with this, being needy. Maybe you need to be more needy with this person. Just be like, yo, I'm not going anywhere. This person could be trying to push you away, trying to be like, okay, no, I don't, I don't actually see them pushing you away. Oh, wait, no, with the rejection. So they could be trying to push you away, but it's kind of like you need to be like, look, look here. I am not going anywhere. I don't care what your brother said, what your mama said, what your daddy said. I don't care what they said. I want you, and I want this to work. That's what you need to say. Um, this could be a feminine, a highly feminine, like, I'm getting a lot of feminine energy. You could be a Pisces also. And, um... This is again a devoted partner, devoted partner, and getting things done, and a passionate, like you, you guys are good already. There's nothing you need to improve it. You could have met this person in the workplace, and this is honestly just like profit, and a first date, and a soulmate, and written communication. Like guys, how can you improve it? So if you guys are on the rocks, keep doing you, be you, love them unconditionally. Google what the definition of love is. God is love. But like, if you want to know more what love is, um, you know what they said? Love does not lie. Love does not envy. Love does not boast. That type of stuff, I feel like you need to look that up. Might give you some clarity. And yeah, that was for number three. Okay, okay. For number four, I really do be looking rough. And now, this could be a comic situation. I feel like, okay. So this could be unrequited love. I feel like this is definitely, okay. okay, okay, okay. So the thing about unrequited love is, I feel like these different variations of the same, okay. There's different variations of love, right? But it's all the same love in the end. Maybe one of you loves the other and the other one is just like in like. So one of you guys is in love, the other one is still trying to figure out the emotions. But the do you like me card, they're still trying to figure out how they feel about you. But I mean, they know they can't be without you. They know they can't be without you though. 
Yeah. I feel like this person might have cut communication with you because they're trying to be like, no, like, she came off too strong. Like, she loved me too much. Mm, She's just going to break my heart. While of, with that attitude, it's going to happen. Because secretly, this person just wants a new beginning. I feel like secretly, this person just wants to... Um, this could be telepathic communication. And coming it up with full force. Maybe you came with full force. Or if you haven't, if you've been super stagnant, if you've been super lazy with this connection, then that's how you lost them. That's what made them confused. That's what made them think that you didn't like them. But, like, you wanted it, though. You did want it because you were struck by Cupid. You just want this person. And you want them to like you the same way that you like them. And you want them to feel the same way. But, like, sometimes people don't feel the same way, you know? But I'm not saying that. But I could be. So, if you want to improve it, I feel like you need to be honestly just, like, straight up. Just be like, yo, do you like me? Don't put any words behind it. Don't don't say anything. I'll just be like, hey, do you actually like me? Like, are you going to fight for this? Or are we just going to keep arguing? Are you just going to keep sitting on, yo, like I'm getting, like, you know, Big Bang Theory with Sheldon when he just, he sits on that, that, that cushion because it has the right perfect temperature and perfect everything. And it's like, are you just going to sit there and watch TV when, like, this relationship is deteriorating? Again, broken heart. This person could have felt broken heart about you because of the unrequited love. Or unrequited, um... Like, if it's not unrequited love, then it's just like someone, that imbalance where it's like someone's giving more. Someone's giving and someone's taking and no one's like... It's supposed to be give and give, take and take. Oh, wait, give and take, right? Give and take, but then give again. It's a cycle. You can't just be taking and giving. But I feel like, honestly, you guys are supposed to end up together because it's like... Yeah, y'all be fighting, y'all be... And, like, you know, Sheldon is annoying, but in the end, we love him. And he's educational, and he teaches us stuff, and, like, he's cool. Because they're both looking at each other. Like, you know, naive to your own toxicity. Like I said, this could be a common situation. I'm not trying to say that your relationship is bad or anything. It's like, you guys deserve each other. You guys deserve each other, you know? So, with the Eight of Clubs, that's improvement in health. And this could be related to mental health issues. And this is, again, a workaholic. So maybe someone is just, like, avoiding the question, you know, like, trying to avoid what y'all doing, just trying to watch TV, trying to work, trying to, um, yeah, like, distract themselves when they should be paying attention to you. And then your song is Hazley, Without Me, found you when your heart was broke. When your heart was broke, broken-hearted. Synchronicity. Are you seeing a lot of synchronicity? And the two jacks, two J's. Major arcana cards. Anyway, um, I filled your cup until it overflowed. Where's the ten of cups? Oh, you don't have a ten of cups. Get, get you a ten of cups. <laughs> get you a ten of cups. If your person is honestly like not doing it for you, you should leave them. If they're lazy, if they're not doing anything, leave them. But if your person's not being lazy, because you need to remember, again, in a relationship, how can you improve it? It's you and your partner against the problem, not the problem. You again. Wait. It's you and your partner against the problem, not you. You know what I mean. It's not the other way around. It's nothing else. It's just, yeah. You guys are supposed to fight the problem together, not supposed to fight against each other. I filled your cup until it overflowed, thinking you could live without me. Maybe this person tried to leave you and it's like, they just broke their own heart. So it's kind of funny. That's where the karma comes in. Because karma is a, but we respect her and we love her. So I don't know why my love was blind. Again with Cupid, that's falling in love blindly. That's like falling in love aimlessly, wandering aimlessly. And just mean like, whoop, there we go. Now I'm in love. I guess that happened. And then your next song is Katy Perry, Firework. Because baby, you're a firework. Come on, show them what you're worth. Show them what you're worth. With the like, when you say, do you like me? That's like, you know, taking charge. I mean, like, hey, maybe you're a Capricorn. You should take your, take your inner Capricorn if you have any in you. What are the signs? Mm, sorry. Uh, anyway, so you're a fire. Come on, show them what you Make them go. Oh, oh. So maybe you need to hit the spa, you know, to make them go. Oh, oh. And then, um, mm-mm-mm. 
Again, I'm getting feminine energy. And also, I'm getting wisdom in the unconscious mind. So, like, maybe you are... Okay. So, you have a high sense of responsibility. Maybe you're super shy. I feel like you could be super shy. But you need to be original. It says here, your original cannot be replaced. You cannot be replaced. There's nothing to be shy about. There's nothing to be shy about. Um, maybe a reason why all the doors are closed so you can open one that leads you to the perfect road. So like I said, if the person is not doing you justice, if you have to watch tarot card videos about the entire connection and it's like, okay, I'm not trying to come for you, but if your person isn't cutting it, then you can't cut them off. Point blank period. Because they're going to realize it and they're probably going to break their heart as soon as they try to see that they can't live without you by Hazley, Hosley. They can't live without you. And then maybe that's going to change their mindset and they're going to be like, oh, damn, that's my soulmate. What am I doing? What have I been doing? Changing the six of spades into, into a six of clubs because this, what is this? This is, this is not good. This is letting go. Stopping communication. Meaningless. Lazy. So, yeah. That's basically what you need to do. You need to be less shy. Less reserved with your love. Be more open. Come at it full force. Be honest. Be frank. And, yeah. So that's the video. I really hope it resonated. Um, I just want to say a few words, guys. Before You guys can click out if you don't want to hear this. But for people that do, you know, just like read your Bible, pray every day, um, that type of stuff. Stay cool. Keep it cute, sis. And I'm going to see you in the next one.